Once again, appreciate you sticking with us, coming to our YouTube channel, checking out these videos. There's a lot to cover, and we're pretty excited about this. My name is Christian, we're, I'm from solo.io, and we're covering the Service Mesh Hub capabilities. In the previous videos, we looked at capabilities like mesh discovery, workload discovery. We looked at things like mesh federation in terms of identity and, and root uh, trust domain. In the previous, uh, immediately previous video, we looked at treating an entire virtual mesh as a single logical uh, mesh, even though it might be made up of multiple different uh, clusters of mesh. And then looking at an API, like the access control policy to manage access control between the, the, the services that might be running in this virtual mesh. And in this demo, we'll take a look at managing the traffic between the, uh, uh, the, the different clusters ultimately, but treating this as a single unified mesh. So let's jump right in. From the previous video, we have our port forwarding open to the, to the uh, book info page. So that should be all good. We see we load balance between V1 and V2 of uh, reviews. The review service V3 is running in cluster number two. So let's take a look at that. So in the previous demos, we did federate the mesh. We can see that it was set to permissive mode, which means that service discovery will be available between all of the services, between all of the different clusters. So what that means is under the covers is that Istio will, well, the, the management plane will drive the Istio control planes to create the service entries. These service entries are how services from within a particular mesh can see services running in um, out, outside of the mesh, in this case, in a, in a different cluster. If we take a look at one of these particular, uh, well, so these are the service entries on cluster two can see the services running in cluster one from cluster two. If we take a look at a particular service entry, what we can see is, um, here, let's close this for one second. We'll bring it back when we need it. What we can see is the host for services running in cluster two is pointing to a particular address. Now this particular address maps to the Istio ingress gateway on cluster two. So that means if in cluster one, I wanna to talk to reviews and some of the traffic needs to go to cluster two, it will go from, from the, the, the workload in cluster one to the gateway on cluster two. And then the gateway will know how to do the proper SNI routing to get that traffic to the correct service on cluster two without breaking mutual TLS. So we'll have end-to-end -end encryption here. And this is how these services know how to, how to route to each other. So now let's control the traffic on cluster one. Let's use the traffic policy. Just like access control policy, which um, treats these policies in terms of a larger virtual mesh, we do the same thing with traffic policy. And in this case, well, all we're saying is when we talk to reviews, route all of the traffic to uh, version one. So let's go ahead and apply that. Oh, I guess I didn't fix that part of my demo. Let's go do that real quick. Service mesh hub is running on GKE. K okay, apply resources reviews CP V1. Yeah, well, let's do it that way manually. And then let's also do the port forwarding so we can come back. So we did apply it. Now we should see all of the traffic only going to reviews V1, which we see. And we did. Let's introduce, let's uh, blow that away. Let's introduce traffic routing between V1 and V2 using our traffic policy. So let's apply that. And so far, this isn't doing anything all that unique, uh, other than it is managing this from a virtual mesh level instead of a particular single singular control plane. So if we re report forward that now and refresh, we should see version two of reviews every once in a while, maybe. Yep, there we go. All right. 
Now we have version two. Now, the last thing that I want to show is how we can route the traffic now between multiple clusters using this same unified API. So we, in this case, want to route 75% of the traffic to cluster two, the rest of it in small bits between cluster uh, one, reviews one, and reviews two. Let's take a look at creating that. There we go, that was created. Let's report forward. And we should see the traffic routing mostly to version three, which lives in cluster two. And if we refresh every once in a while, we should see some of the traffic from cluster one. So now we used this unified traffic policy to drive the traffic between, you know, within a single virtual mesh, and it just happens to be across multiple clusters. But let's look under the covers. What did it actually do? It did create Istio resources. In this case, it created a virtual service named reviews. So if we take a look at that, under the covers, it really just created a, a virtual, virtual service with routing to the remote service as well as, as the local ones. Now, it is possible that we end up with different routing rules. And like we saw in the access policy, you with, with the traffic policy rule, let's take a look at that actually. Didn't. Sandbox, solo, scripted, service mesh, how GK. Um, if we do uh, uh, resources and we do reviews, and it doesn't matter really, I guess, v1, v2, or c1, v, there we go. Um, what we can see is that in traffic policy, just like at, in, the, in the access control policy that we saw, we have the ability to select sources and destinations and specify groups of sources and groups of destinations. Now, by doing this, it simplifies the the number of config uh, resources that you need to keep track of. But on the other hand, it does make it possible for you to kind of turn your head and say, all right, what, what exactly is the policies and the uh, rules that are applying to a particular service for the traffic that's coming into that service or out of it? We can use Mesh CTL, which is part of Service Mesh Hub, describe to see exactly what those rules are. So let's look at what the service reviews has. We can see that at the moment it has traffic shifting from um, you know, the, the traffic coming into it, the, the different policies that require that 75% of the traffic go to cluster two while 25% stay here. We can see that product page is calling it, although this is kind of a um, pre-release build that, that I have that didn't, didn't have that part filled in. But you can see we're, we're building tooling to uh, give you both the power and the simplicity of running a virtual mesh or a grouped set of meshes um, along with the, the tools to be able to uh, inspect it and describe it and, and understand exactly what's going on so that you can be successful with your mesh. Now, in the next videos, what we're going to do is take a little bit deeper dive into this API because uh, there's a lot of good stuff in here and um, we think it's really powerful and we, we look, we're looking forward for feedback, but I'd like to introduce you to it. Until then, I recommend that you take a look at the Service Mesh Hub documentation. Look at on GitHub, solo-io slash Service Mesh Hub. Go to slack.solo.io to join the conversation with us and uh, look forward to hearing any input or thoughts that you have about Service Mesh Hub and managing multi-cluster Istio or really multi-cluster any Service Mesh. So in the enterprise version, uh, we'll, we'll be exploring these different capabilities. Until then, thanks and swing by the, the YouTube channel again to see the deep dive into the different APIs. Thanks.